I'm Nathan from Research Rabbit, and in this video, I'll walk you through the basic workflow to help get you started with your first search to building a set of papers that you can actually use to write the literature review. Everything starts in the search box, so you can enter a keyword, paste in a DOI, or search by paper title. So I'll start with a keyword here. Once the search runs, you'll see two things. So firstly, a list of papers and a visual map. At this stage, you're just looking for a few good starting papers. So I usually check the title, the publication date, and the citation count. If I'm unsure, I'll quickly skim the abstract or open the source. When you find one or two papers, select them and run the search again. Now, these become your seed papers. Research Rabbit uses them to find other papers that are closely related through shared references and citations. Now, each dot represents a paper and the connections show how those papers cite one another. So this helps you understand how research in a field fits together instead of working through the results one by one. From here, the map really starts to grow. You can spot influential papers, as well as newer work that might not have many citations yet. As you go, you can save papers to your library and organize them into collections, for example, by topic or project. This helps keep everything structured as your reading list grows. Over time, the more you save, the more focused your recommendations become. And this is how you move from a broad search to a clear set of useful papers. By the end, you'll have an organised library that you can return to, take notes on, and use when you start writing. That's the basic workflow in Research Rabbit, and it's the foundation for everything else that you can do on the platform.